Okay, so today we're going to solve ratio or rate problems using a double number line. There's plenty of different ways to solve this problem. If you chose to solve it a different way, feel free to leave a comment and let others know how you solved it. Here we go. Oranges were on super sale at the store. Juan bought 12 oranges for $4. At this rate, how many oranges could he buy with $1? How many could he buy with $10? All right, so let's get started. Remember that a rate is just a ratio that compares two different units. So an example of a rate would be miles to hour. In this case, our rate is comparing oranges to dollars. So those are our two units. When we set up our double number line, first thing we're gonna do is write in our units. So we're starting with oranges, And that's going to be our first number line. And we're comparing that in our rate to dollars, which is going to be our second number line. There we go. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put the information that the problem gives us into our double number line. We know that he can get 12 oranges for $4. 12 oranges, I'm putting 12 with oranges, and 4 with dollars. He can buy 12 oranges for $4. The first part of the problem asks me, how many oranges could he buy with $1? So that means on my dollar line, I'm going to fill in a 1. And I want to know how many oranges can he buy with this $1? So what number goes up here? Well, the cool thing when we use double number lines is that we look for patterns in the numbers. So, if I look for a pattern going from four to one, can I go from four to one with multiplication or division? Yeah, I can divide by four, which means that I need to do the same thing to the top part of my ratio, divide by four. 12 divided by 4 is going to give me 3, which means that he can buy 3 oranges for $1. So that's my unit rate, right? My unit rate is for every $1, my denominator of 1, he can buy 3 oranges. All right, so we have the first part of our problem solved. Let's go ahead and solve the second part. How many could he buy with $10? I'm going to go ahead and fill that in on my double number line. And because it's dollars, it's going on the bottom number line. Now, let's think about a pattern with multiplication or division. Does 4 go into 10 evenly? No, it doesn't because those numbers are not compatible. But 1 goes into 10 evenly. So I can use this rate that I already found. How many times does 1 go into 10? 10 times. Do the same thing to the top. 3 times 10 is going to give me 3 times 10 is 30, which means that with $10, he could buy 30 oranges. So there you go. Those are your answers. For $1, he could buy three oranges. And he could buy 30 oranges for $10. And there you go. How to solve a rate problem using a double number line. Please leave a comment or subscribe if you like this. Let me know. Thank you and have a great day.